Hello and welcome back. As you know, documentation is essential part of building RESTful APIs. Not only it helps our internal teams, but it's quite you know important essential for external teams because uh, this is the only way you can uh, communicate to your your external clients. You can tell them like you know how your API works, how to uh, consume data using your API, or how to create uh, data using using your APIs. There are several ways in which you can communicate to your client. You can write like you know just normal Word doc. You can explain how your api works you know how to basically send payload and then how to create some 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 data on the server or how to kind of uh, get data from 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 the server but the problem here is you know using uh, you know word doc or text that it is open for misinterpretation because sometimes you know client might not know what you're really trying to say and you probably like end up writing a lot of stuff a lot of examples you know just just to say the, the simple stuff okay um, another problem i see is um if suppose you like to generate some sort of you know client automatically or, or server side code automatically you would not be able to do that using those word docs or you know the text which you, you have invented okay not to worry because there is a uh, standard or, or market standard already to to document uh, rest api and that's called open api 3.0 as you know like you know some people uh, call this thing as swagger api as well but just to be clear, um, around 2015, um, Swagger API or Swagger spec were kind of you know, renamed to Open API. Now, Swagger is just a set of tooling which uh, implements this Open API 3.0 okay and uh, you can you can visualize it you can uh, use open api specs to kind of you know create client stubs or or server stubs or or you know automatically uh, various other things all right um so you will hear like you no know, people interchangeably using um, oh i'm writing swagger spec or, or i'm writing open api sw uh, spec okay same thing but better way is like you no know, you start calling open api all right so what is the problem we are trying to solve today Let's say you have, uh, you know, REST DSL based uh, camel endpoints, which which basically, you know, kind of um, um, publishing your your APIs. One of the problems even I faced, even though I've, I've been kind of using camel for some time now, I couldn't find a, a, a you know, easy way of documenting my REST API, which are written in, in REST uh, DSL in, in camel, right? So. I did some research for my own project, so I thought like, you know, I'll share uh, that work with you guys. Um, uh, so you can also try this thing out, it's, it's, it's super cool. Okay, so let's say we have uh, a simple REST endpoint. Okay, if I show you, there it is. Let's say I have a very simple API, which in, we built in, in our previous camel videos actually, okay? Okay, so if I say services weather London and it's giving me this, this particular information. Now I like to document it, okay? I like to document this using open API. So what shall we do? It's quite easy and, and straightforward now though we know it, know it, okay? So let's just head back to our code real quick. So first thing you like to do is, let's say, okay, uh, this is by the way, our rest endpoint, which is simply saying, you know, uh, if you want to get the data, this is the um, URI basically. You give weather and then you pass parameter called city. Okay, if you like to create something, you just say uh, weather and this is the DTO which it consumes. Okay, okay, simple. So, what do we have to do? First thing, you just go to your pom.xml, you add this dependency org apache.camel, camel open api java. Make sure you use the same camel version which you are using for camel core. Okay, over here I am using 3.14.0. Okay, this is the first thing you have to do. Second thing you have to do is now wherever you have this thing called rest configuration where you have kind of you know defined your component, you have defined your binding mode, um, data format, etc. Over here now we have to start documenting or start defining how to consume or how to create um, open api based documentation out of these rest endpoints okay so first thing we like to do over here is we'll simply say api context api context path okay so this is the endpoint where you know this this library will be publishing uh, open api documentation for us so let's call it uh, slash api slash doc okay that's perfect Second thing you can do is there are actually quite few properties. If you see, I can say API and let's say I like to 
add a property and maybe i like to you know give some sort of version number to to my my api so i should be able to do that what i'm going to simply do is i'm going to say api property my api's title is going to be uh, title okay these are the standard properties by the way let's simply call it sagu.uk um, camel rest apis perfect okay one more thing which we can add let's duplicate this thing we can say api version okay what is the version of my api so client knows like okay this document documentation belongs to this version of api okay so we can simply say this is 1.0 okay we are just literally starting um and one more thing you have to do is you have to say um is my api context actually listening or not okay if you want you can disable it you know maybe in some environments you don't want to um open it you can you can disable it okay over here i'm going to say true okay so we can actually see how things are working for now this is just good enough what will actually happen is after adding this thing automatically this library which we have just added or the dependency which which we just added it will start creating the open api uh, 3.1 which is the latest version documentation for us okay after that what we'll do we'll start enriching or start giving more information for each endpoint which will tell us like you no know, what is this thing over here what are these parameters etc etc so first thing let's restart our server so if i restart my application if all goes well i should be creating uh, api docs okay so looks like this is working so first thing you like to do is i'm just going to copy this url go to another tab and if i say api doc api dash doc and forward slash enter boom beautiful isn't it there you go you have your um open api 3.0.2 version uh, at the uh, time of recording this video as you can see the title which we gave it's coming over here version is also coming over here okay um you must be wondering you know it's is so hard to consume how do i consume it of course you have swagger editor to consume consume that swagger Ed editor by default supports yaml okay this is a json format which which has been generated automatically for us what we can do is we can ask this url okay to give um, format in in a yaml uh, uh, format basically okay this data in yaml format so if i simply say open api dot yaml by looking the looking at the extension server will automatically transform this data into yaml version okay let's hit that there we are okay so you have to say y a m l okay uh, looks like y m l doesn't um, didn't work so we got uh, yaml out of uh, uh, this this particular open api spec let's just copy this stuff and if you just go to editor.swagger.io okay so this page will be open for you if you just paste your stuff over here now see it has been transformed for us there is a little error we're going to fix it in a minute can you see how easy it is to visualize our api now okay so if i hit on get it's saying if if i want to get the weather data it's a weather slash you know parameter okay and this is the parameter uh, people need to pass on 200 i will be expecting this output beautiful okay this is standard people do understand it there are several you know plugins apis which can consume this data and and can do several things out of it automatically all right now let's just go back and scroll up as far as post is concerned it's saying look this is the payload i'm i'm expecting okay these things if i send that to my server a new stuff will be created but still i'm not kind of you know giving a lot of information what this weather does what this you know city does etc etc so what we're going to do is we will start documenting or start adding um, you know uh, information for our api so we can communicate to our clients better so let's just go back to our code 
I am going to now document this thing you can go in and check on the camels website like you know, there are several methods but uh, over here if you simply say first thing we want to say is response message yeah so you can say over here is that okay for 200 it simply means when there is a 200 it means get um, sorry on good request yeah you can write whatever you want to do so let's just break this line okay and you can say 404 will be given when data is not found okay for invalid requests sounds good sounds sensible 404 is our standard HTTP method when resource is not found on the server okay um, we gonna put some sort of description over here okay what this description is it's now telling what this endpoint is doing what this API is doing so we can simply document saying uh, get weather data for a given city nice cool another thing you can now explain is that we can see we are actually consuming this parameter called city let's just uh, document a little bit about this so our client knows you know what parameter we are consuming and what it does so if you go and hit param and then you can simply say the name of the parameter is called city and type is it's i'm going to read it from path so if you just type path you will see like you know there is a thing called uh, reset param type dot path so if you just select that okay and i'm gonna do a static import so i can save little space over here um, and after that you can simply say the the description okay so you can keep enriching you know whatever information you you need so i'm gonna say the name of the city okay for i can give little example saying london for example yeah and most important thing okay everything is important but again you know you, you want to tell your client what is the data type of this thing and you can simply say this is a string it can be an integer it can be array it could be you know any anything like that um, and then we simply going to say and parameter so what we have done over here we have documented our parameter like this okay uh, let's do a little bit of formatting so it's easier to understand so we started a parameter and we have uh, kind of documented that parameter let's try to restart our server and see what difference does it make so i'm just restarting my server what i'm expecting now is um okay so server has been started so if you just go back to our browser you will notice like you no know, earlier we had get weather city and it was nothing documented you know i i click on it it's not telling me what city is and and what's the purpose of that city okay and the whole purpose of documentation is kind of you know communicating with your client you know you're telling your client that okay uh, what information i have and how you can consume that information so if i go back to my api refresh the page um, as you can see some a few uh, bits have been added but again uh, why bother looking at this this yaml so just go copy that stuff come back to our uh, swagger editor and hopefully it will be refreshed it has refreshed and can you see can you see this over here now we have this additional information about our endpoint it's saying get weather data for a given city client now knows what is the purpose of this get now let's go a little bit down okay now for city we have now very clearly said this is a string type and we have given a little example the name of the city example london so client now knows how to interact with my api they know okay this parameter is called um, city the well the data type is string and it's expecting a city name okay two more things um, just to notice over here we are saying when things are good i'm gonna give you 200 on good request but 404 for invalid request this helps again our clients to do the exception handling okay so now they know when requests or date you know the, the request which they are sending if it is bad or or the city is not found server is gonna give 404 
beautiful okay you, you can now write your code you can you can do like you know all the exception handling um, uh, really nicely all right so just to finish uh, this video um, same thing you can do for for post as well okay so let's just quickly complete it so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, let's quickly document our post okay I I did it earlier so I'm just gonna copy paste just to save us time so what have I done over here I said again very simple stuff I said 201 when um, you know data is created okay if there are failures you can say you know four or four hundred bad request or, or 500 server not found etc etc I'm saying description add weather for a city type is this and I'm saying parameter is uh, body and the type is body description is payload for weather and I'm gonna finish my end parameter let's really quickly restart our server so we can see how post looks like okay one more thing you noticed while the server is starting earlier we were getting two errors one error gone because now we have kind of uh, you know given the description it's still complaining it's saying you know on line number 18 this thing is not done for post hopefully that error will go away as well because now we have added description earlier the description was missing come back refresh this page copy go back to your swagger editor i hope um, you are listening this is a standard editor.swagger.io this is the online version which i'm using just for demonstration purpose i copied pasted and cool as you can see all the errors are gone Sagu Camel REST API version 1.0 you remember we added the the version number as you update the version numbers this will be reflected over here our client would know like okay you know this is the better version or newer version of of our API okay for post earlier nothing was appearing now we are saying add weather for a city request body um, it's saying uh, required payload for weather right and this is the payload we are expecting and we are telling our client now when data is created successfully you will be getting 201 if there is a problem 400 but obviously we did not document that all right okay that's what i wanted to um, kind of show or, or talk about today um, that how to document um, rest dsl based uh, you know um, endpoints uh, which are written in camel using standard open api uh, 3.0 and visualize them using swagger editor i hope you like the video okay please um, subscribe if you have not uh, give me thumbs up and most importantly please leave some comments at, at, at below right uh, so i know you, you liking the video or maybe not liking the video yeah uh, if you want to see something else please do let me know um, thank you very much for your time once again